The World Health Organization WHO observes World No Tobacco Day on May 31 every year. The day is dedicated to raising awareness about the detrimental effects of tobacco and the importance of reducing tobacco intake. The World Health Organization WHO was established in 1948, and World No Tobacco Day was first commemorated in 1987. According to the World Health Organization, tobacco-related diseases kill more than 8 million people each year. The theme of World No Tobacco Day 2024 is, Protecting Children from Tobacco Industry Interference. Sony appoints Disney veteran Gaurav Banerjee as New India CEO. Sony has appointed Gaurav Banerjee, a Walt Disney executive, as its New India CEO to oversee its television and other media operations. According to one source, Banerjee has resigned from Disney's India operation, where he was the head of content for the streaming service Hotstar and the head of business for the company's TV channels in Hindi-speaking areas. Sony runs 26 channels in India, from general entertainment to sports, movies, and a streaming service. This year, it scrapped a planned merger with India's Z Entertainment that would have created a 10 billion enterprise. REC wins Sustainability Champion Editor's Choice Award at Outlook Planet Sustainability Summit and Awards 2024. REC Limited, a Maharatna CPSE under the Ministry of Power and a leading NBFC has received the Sustainability Champion Editor's Choice Award at the Outlook Planet Sustainability Summit and Awards 2024. Outlook Group organized the award presentation in partnership with IIT Goa. SMT. Saraswati, Senior General Manager of REC's Mumbai office, received the award at a Goa-based event. This award recognizes REC's commitment to sustainability initiatives and its efforts to drive progress towards a greener future. RBI imposes penalty on HSBC for FEMA violations. The Reserve Bank of India RBI has imposed a penalty of Rs 36.38 lakh on HSBC Limited for violating the Foreign Exchange Management Act FEMA specifically. HSBC failed to comply with FEMA's 1999 liberalized remittance scheme reporting obligations. The central bank's action comes after a thorough analysis of the matter, which included HSBC's answer to an earlier show cause letter. The RBI found that HSBC had not complied with the reporting obligations stipulated under the liberalized remittance scheme of FEMA, 1999. RBI imposes penalty on ICICI Bank and Yes Bank. According to a press statement, the Reserve Bank of India RBI has imposed monetary penalties on ICICI Bank and Yes Bank for breaking several regulatory rules. ICICI Bank was fined Rs 1 crore for providing a term loan to certain businesses in place of or to supplement budgetary resources planned for specific projects. The RBI separately conducted a statutory inspection for supervisory evaluation ICE 2022 of ICICI Bank and Yes Bank regarding their financial position as of March 31, 2022. On Yes Bank, the RBI imposed a Rs 91 lakh fine. India successfully tests anti-radiation missile, Rudram-2, an air surface anti-radiation missile test fired by India from a Su-30 MKI fighter jet was successful. The Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO is developing the Rudram-2 anti-radiation supersonic missile. The flight test completed all trial objectives, verifying the propulsion system, control, and navigation algorithm. Rudram missile is the first indigenously developed anti-radiation missile to target enemy ground radars, surveillance, tracking and communication stations in suppression of enemy air defense SAD missions. European banks seek RBI approval for third-party transaction model. According to the Economic Times at, up to four European banks have petitioned the Reserve Bank of India RBI to authorize a third-party transaction model. Credit Agricole, Societe Generale, Deutsche Bank, and BNP Paribas attempt to break a standoff between their home regulators and Indian officials over audit supervision rights. Last month, the banks met with RBI officials to seek clearance for the proposed third-party model without defined norms.
The report added that the banks expect to hear the RBI's stance within the coming weeks. Indian Mountaineer sets record by accomplishing double dual ascent of Mount Everest and Mount Lhotsa Satyadeep Gupta. An Indian Mountaineer etched his name in history by achieving a feat that is as rare as it is challenging. He became the first person to conquer Mount Everest and Mount Lhotsa twice in a single season, a journey that took him a mere 11 hours and 15 minutes. Organized by Pioneer Adventure Expedition, Gupta scaled the 8,516-meter-high Mount Lhotsa on May 27 at noon and the 8,849-meter-high Mount Everest at 12.45 a.m. This remarkable accomplishment is the world's first double dual ascent of the highest and fourth highest peaks in one season. Indian Army and IOCL join forces for hydrogen fuel cell bus technology trials. In an effort to investigate sustainable transportation options, the Indian Army, in collaboration with Indian Oil Corporation Limited IOCL, has begun demonstration trials of a hydrogen fuel cell bus. The cooperation was formalized via a Memorandum of Understanding MAU signed by General Manoj Pandey, Chief of the Army Staff, and Shrikan Madhav Vedya, Chairman of Indian Oil. The event also saw the handover of a hydrogen fuel cell bus to the Indian Army, marking the start of a partnership focused on pioneering sustainable transport technologies. India assumes chair of Colombo process for 2024 to 26. For the first time since its creation in 2003, India has assumed leadership of the regional grouping known as the Colombo Process. The Colombo Process is a regional consultative body with 12 Asian member states. Promoting safe, orderly and legal migration. India assumed the chair of Colombo Process for 2024 to 2026 for the first time since its inception, External Affairs Ministry spokesperson Randhir Jaiswal said on X. Colombo process is a regional consultative process of migrant worker origin countries from South and Southeast Asia. It serves as a forum to exchange best practices on overseas employment.